what's up YouTube it's Joey Bags here if you're new to the channel welcome if you've watched all my crappy content before God bless you and welcome back <laughs> anyway so today's video is a little something that I wanted to do um, I'll be on face cam for just a few and then we'll get into it I'm in the GTR and I'm in AMS 2 I'm uh, doing some laps around spa and trust me, it's nothing like my Aceto Corsa Spa lap. Um, Aceto Corsa, I was able to get a 212.237. The fastest lap I've been able to manage together is a 236. So there you go. Uh, first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make some corrections from some of my previous videos. Um, I did not know, and I guess I should have, and I didn't check, the Moza U Universal Hub. It actually doesn't work with the three wheels that they say it should. It actually only works with two. It works with the KS wheel, which I have, and it works with the FSR wheel. Uh, the GS wheel, as I was inspecting pictures yesterday, doesn't have the little RJ12 port in the back. The website, Moses' website, lists it as having the port because you can use it wired. But when you actually look at the pictures of it, I checked on Moses' website, I checked on Microsoft's website, and I also looked at some other random pictures on Google, and for the life of me, I could not find that RJ12 port in the back. So, to make corrections, the Moza Universal Hub does not work with the GS wheel, which is the one with all the little uh, rotary encoders on it. Uh, still overpriced. Uh, <laughs> uh, it does work with the G, no, with the KS wheel, which I have, and you've seen videos of, and the FSR wheel, which is a lot of money, and I'm not going to spend that unless somebody wants to send it to me, or Moza, yeah, yeah, guys want to send it to me, I'll more than happy go hook it up and use it, but it still does work on the PXN wheelbase, actually, it will work with any wheelbase that uses the NRG styled quick release. If it, your wheelbase uses the NRG style with quick release, those two wheels will pop right on. And then you plug the RJ12 from the back of that wheel into the universal hub. And then the universal hub is what connects with your PC. I've still yet to try it on console. Uh, well, should I say I haven't tried it with the PXN wheelbase on console with the KS wheel on it uh, just because I'm not sure if it's going to work like that and really the only way that it might work would be with the RAS solution since it has two USB ports down here maybe it might work I, I don't know so it'll be one that I'll try out I'll probably do that off camera if it works then you'll see it if not just assume it doesn't well that's the one thing I wanted to address the correction uh, second thing I wanted to address is um, some comments that keep getting made about um, console compatibility, whether it's native as the Fanatec, since they did pay for the license. Wow, my camera's really flickering. I guess it's my lights. Um, where Fanatec did pay plus only the license for the security chip in their D uh, GTDD Pro wheelbase and they pay for the license to have the security chip in the wheels that they produce that will work with the basis so that makes it Xbox compatible. Um, Moza on the R3 did also pay Microsoft the license. I guess the biggest sticking point to some people on the internet, I don't know why, um, the PXN. PXN did not play, pay Sony or Microsoft. Uh, they found a workaround that is the exact same workaround that Brook and the Resolution use, and the same as DriveHub, except they have it for Xbox built in to the PXM wheelbase, and for PlayStation, they offer this little dongle. So the sticking point that it's not native is it's not native control is a moot point 
because the same person or persons that like to continue with the whole, it's not a native support, uh, you can do the same thing with a resolution. Your point is moot when you introduce the resolution into the equation. Uh, Fanatec is the only one who does offer that native support because they paid for the licenses in which they pass off that cost on to us. And that's why a GTDD Pro is almost, well, actually is $778 for the 5 newton meter wheelbase, the plastic 11-inch wheel, and regular two-pedal set of Hall Effect pedals. $778. That's I, including shipping. I paid nine 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 ninety eight because I got the GT McLaren Xbox compatible wheel because I want to cover my bases. So yeah, it's almost three yeah, almost three hundred dollars more than the PXN. I'm sorry, but whatever point you're trying to make that, you know, the Fanatec is cheaper. The Fanatec is only cheaper if you get the CSL DD. That has native support if you get an Xbox compatible wheel. And then you're only using it on Xbox. But if you then try to make a point that, oh, but you can get a resolution in that and it's still cheaper you're proving your own point or you're proving my point that the PXN I don't need a resolution that's and then let's even get that correct you need a resolution two. they have two versions the red one which is not PlayStation compatible that one you can source for maybe about eighty dollars I think it went for fifty dollars during Black Friday and the resolution two, which is the blue one which is what I have that is a hundred dollars Actually, I think it's more than $100, and I got it for, a I think it was like $105 on sale on Amazon. So you're proving my point. Honestly, I would not buy a CSL DD and then a Resolution. Don't get me wrong. The Resolution is good, but it's not great. There are a lot of quirks with it. There's a lot of issues, especially when, when it comes to force feedback. And this is going to be inherent to using third-party devices that are intermediaries between your wheelbase and your syst and your console. Force feedback is never going to be quite as good. Now, that said, force feedback with the PXN on the consoles is better than I was testing the Moza R5 with the resolution on the consoles. My force feedback is better on the PXN just using the methods that PXN provides you than using the Moza R5 with the resolution 2. And that's a quantifiable, I can hook everything up and you can feel the difference. I'm not talking out of my ass. I have the hardware. I have run the tests. I know the feelings. So you want to continue on with this native support, native support, bro. It's just... It works. Just get off of it. <clears throat> we have options. Let's just be happy that we have options. Uh, let's just be happy that we have things that we can use. And whether you go an inexpensive route or you go an expensive route, you can get something to work out for you. So whether you get a CSL DD and a resolution, hey, if that works for you, more power to you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you understand the shortcomings that it may have and in understanding that you're not going to go online and bash two products that are doing what they're supposed to do, yet you're trying to work it outside of the system so there's going to be problems. And just like I know the inherent issues that are coming about with everything, like the PXN, I don't hide the fact that the PXN with PlayStation 5 and Gran Turismo 7 and I think Sport, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, I test so much stuff, that there is a disconnect problem where the, randomly the, the wheelbase just disconnects from the uh, console and I have to unplug and replug the dongle back and I'm good to go again. And I can go an hour and that doesn't happen or it can happen in 15 minutes and then happen 15 minutes again. 
it's just something that happens. Uh, in Assetto Corsa Competizione on PlayStation 5, I haven't had that problem. At least not that I can remember. So it could be this, it's that particular game. But it's one of those things where I tell you these things so you know them up front. Things have inherent problems, especially when you're using them not as directed as we say in the medical field. You know, we're using this off brand label, uh, off brand, uh, off label usage. That's typically, that's technically what we're doing. You know, we're going ahead and using X thing to fix Y thing that kind of sort of isn't, that's not what it's made for, but it kind of works. So we're getting this box that kind of makes these wheelbases that don't work with a console work by spoofing it to think it's a G29 because really that's what it does. It spoofs, you know, the resolution, the drive hub, and whatever PXM built into their wheelbases spoofs the consoles into thinking they have either a G29 when it comes to PlayStation or a G920 when it comes to Xbox. Plain and simple. Uh, they didn't pay for licenses. That's however you feel about that. But the point is moot when you want to say, oh, you can get a CSL DD, which is some. But no. You're spending extra money. You, you, you know, you're spending the 479, let's see, 479 on a CSL DD, 5 newton meter with the McLaren GT3 wheel. That's their ready to race bundle. And then you add on a Resolution 2 because you want to play it on PlayStation 5. That's another $100. So you have $579. And yeah, Fanatec has the pedigree, but that's $579. Now, I'm going to spend $550, at, and I have an update on that, $550 on the PXN that I don't have to go and get a separate little dongle for. Well, it comes with the actual little dongle for the PlayStation 5, but I don't have to buy anything else. It all comes inside the box, and it works. I plug it in, and it works. Does it really matter? No. Why? Because if you have an issue, you go online, you go onto Google, and you're like, oh, why is my thing doing this? And then you'll come across my videos, or you'll come across somebody else's videos, and they'll tell you exactly what's happening. And at that point, you make the decision whether you want to stay with it or return it. Or do you want to just live with it? So it is what it is. You can continue on going off in the comments section about it, but really, it's, it's old. Um, third thing I wanted to address I don't know how they're going to feel about this, but in my Googling, I came across PXN's Alibaba page. And they have V12 DDLs cheap. So I asked yesterday, I sent them a message on my phone. I'm like, hey, I'm interested in this wheelbase. Um, I, you know, they're like, oh, how many do you want? I'm like, oh, I just want one. I'll get a sample, you know. And they're like, oh, okay. So it's like $350. I'm like, what? I'm like, and how much is shipping to South Florida, where I'm at? That was $188. Think in total they quoted me $419 or something, maybe $420 shipped to Florida from China. Now, yes, it's 15 days might be a little bit more in delivery time but that's about a hundred bucks cheaper than I paid on Amazon so if you're really really hard up for a DDL and a PXN a V12 DDL and you haven't been able to find it they've got the V12 bundle on Alibaba and AliExpress Alibaba look for PXN's I won't put the link just because if this isn't what they want, right, you know, us regular people ordering and not, you know, people ordering pallets because I don't know who needs to order a, a pallet of uh, wheelbases until I open up my race sim, my race, uh, my sim racing center in South Florida. That's an idea I might have in my head. Um, and then maybe I'll need a pallet of uh, wheelbases. Yeah, but that might be an option. They also have the PDHM pedals, you know, so those pedals that I absolutely love that comes with the uh, performance uh, elastomer spring uh, um, dampener in the box. They have it for 60 something dollars and then I think another $80 and shit. I think so. it was about a hundred and something bucks, maybe a little bit less. That's actually not a bad price. So if you didn't want to spend the money on 
the V12 DD from them, you could maybe consider getting the pedals from them and then getting the 10 newton meter base from Micro Center for 399. That's actually not a bad idea. Wheel, you've got the NRG wheelbase. So if you decide you want to go big money baller and get like a GSI wheel, like an X29, which I don't think is a thousand dollars, I think it's less, you could do that. Um, you can get the Moza KS wheel or the Moza uh, FSR. I wouldn't recommend the FSR, it's too expensive for what it is. Um, but the KS wheel is a really nice wheel with uh, the Universal Hub for 50 bucks. And Bob's your uncle, you're good to go there. What I really wish is, I want to unhook it, but I'm not going to. The ES wheel with the formula plate. I got to admit, I ordered the KS wheel. And I was like, oh, I love this thing. I'm going to use it. I did my video reviews, and it's that in the box. I put the, uh, I put the formula plate on the ES wheel, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I really, I really, really, really like this wheel. I really wish someone would copy this wheel for the PXN button box that's on the V12 DDL. Uh, the smaller wheel. I would love if somebody would copy. Uh, this would be so. Acelith Designs. Okay, I'm not saying that you guys copy anything. No, no. We'll, we'll go for that. Acelith Designs. I'm going to tag you in this. I hope you watch it. I know you already make that formula style wheel for the Moza ES. I want it. I want to try it. But if you guys want to source out a PXN V12 DDL's wheel with the funky shaped button box with the chevron light and want to design a similar wheel like the Moza formula plate, you'll, it'll sell. I'm pretty sure all of us PXN guys will end up buying one because it's effing awesome. So Acelith Designs, that's my idea, I'm throwing it out there. Uh, so I think that's uh, part number three. I think I'm up to the three of things that I wanted to address. And uh, then another one. Um, so there is, I think, Russian. I don't want to come off as being wrong or, you know, not PC about it. I, I, I'm i just assuming. I'm so sorry. Uh, YouTuber, uh, Art Racer. I'll link him in the description. Uh, he recently did a video, and I guess he had put clips of me and some of the things, and I didn't know that YouTube actually auto-translates captions. So, like, if you're watching a video in a language that isn't your native one, and you hit captions, it'll actually auto-translate. That's super cool. I didn't know it did that. So, I was watching this video, and he had some very nice things to say. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll tag you. Hopefully, you'll watch this. Um, I actually mentioned you in my WRC, my EA WRC 2023 video um, when I was mentioning the fix that you had come up with or you had found for the device IDs for the uh, PXM wheelbase. Um, I did mention you. And it was a while back. I don't think I tagged you. I may, I may not have, but... Um, I thank you for all the kind words and for the people in his comment section that want to talk smack. Bro, there's already enough negativity in this world. Just calm your tits, for real. It's it's not that serious. You know, it, as is, you don't take our word as gospel. You really don't. You really shouldn't. You know, you should really do your own due diligence. You really should go and watch all the video reviews you can and read all all of the things you can find on whatever web page about the things that you want to get before you make that purchase you know and know what it is you're getting and what you're getting into before just watching somebody's video and just just wanting to be like oh you don't know what you're talking about you're spotting on misinformation and blah, 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 blah. bro seriously take that noise and shove that shit bro for real just calm your tits it's not that serious there's way too much negativity out there, especially if what you're saying you're trying to spot off is fact. I always say what I say is my opinion, my opinion only. And it is what I have gathered from what I've read and from my what from what I've watched. And I am wrong at times. As you see, the very first thing I'm doing in this video is admitting I was wrong about something. And that happens. Ask my wife. I'm wrong about everything. <laughs> Ask my kids, my oldest, I'm wrong about everything. 
So really, don't take what we're saying as gospel. You should be doing your own work. You should be really doing your own legwork. And, you know, the videos are there to augment what you're already finding out. You know, it's kind of a way of seeing somebody else's hands on it. Like, you know, you don't know how big Moses' KS wheel is until, you know, you maybe see it in somebody else's hands. You're like, hey, that dude kind of looks like my size. And he's holding this wheel. And I wish my camera was a little bit better. And he's holding it. And, okay, that wheel looks like... He, I, yeah, I have baby hands. You know, oh, it looks like, cool, that's how big it is. All right, cool, that's what it looks like. That's really what the videos are for, you know, to augment what you're already doing. So the people coming at him in his uh, comments, bro, calm the f down, bro, for real. Just chill. And the people in my comment section, listen, you want to be a hater? I love it. I love haters. You know why? That means I'm doing something right. The more haters I have, that means I'm doing something right. So I'm going to keep doing it. So, we're 21 minutes in. It's <laughs> never a short video with me, I swear. All right, we're 21 minutes in. So, let's get into some... Let's get into some AMS 2 here. Um, okay, you might be seeing a black screen. I hope... Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted, but... <laughs> here we are um you know it won't resume we'll just restart the session yeah <coughs> let's drive uh hopefully the volume isn't too loud for you it's super loud in my headphone but hopefully it's not too loud for you guys and if it is i'm sorry i'll just talk louder so you can hear me but the the first thing in the video i really wanted to address was my mistake with the excuse me with the gs wheel I should have uh, looked a little bit more, and that's my bad. Um, the second portion, I don't remember what the second portion was. Um, you just go back. Now, the issue with finding um, the PXN V12 on Alibaba, I think that's super awesome. I'm super happy about that. So if some of you guys have been having problems finding it, that is now an option for you. Their shipping seems to be a bit more reasonable. I know I had that video where I kind of went off on uh, PXN and the fact that they had their shipping at like 300 something dollars. Um, that's now a thing of the past since they have this new Alibaba route that you can go. Hopefully, you know, you guys don't inundate them and then they want to start changing things up. But I would go to the listing contact them and order i mean quite honestly alibaba gets a lot of traffic i'm sure a lot of business gets done there i have personal friends that have used it so i know it's legit of course as always you can't take my word for it you have to do your own due diligence research the company that you are dealing with but you know for the most part there tends to be a lot of legitimate things that you know work out on that site and with the product so you now have an option I don't think I'm gonna go around too much cuz cuz how often can you watch me driving on spa especially driving poorly but I really did want to give you guys that apology about the misinformation with the GS wheel being compatible I really wanted to give the shout out to art racer for his you know very kind words on his uh, video recently I'll put a link to that video so you can see it and then if you guys want to go ahead and thumbs up his video if you want to subscribe to him uh, if you throw on subtitles and auto translate he's got some, he's got some really good info I can tell you that's where I got my uh, WRC 2023 info on getting the force feedback to work on PC as we're coming around the last turn to go over the start finish line as you see 236 was the best I was able to muster when I was just put putting around earlier as I was thinking what I was gonna say in this video I'm never scripted I'm always off the cuff um, it's not like a Seto Corsa and that badass URD NSX 
I mean, that thing just sticks. This, I'm driving the GTR. Let's see if you can go ahead and take a look. I'm driving the GTR. And it's a little slippery. I can't lie. It's much better than what it was before the 1.5 update. Um, and with the new, new update, I'm liking it even more. But... It, this car is still a little slippery and I'm not tossing it around the way I tossed that NSX. That NSX stuck like its tires were made of hot glue. You know, so that made me look like an effing superstar, not this. This is showing what my real driving skill is. Not very good. So we'll just go through the last few corners. And I think we'll cut the video today probably at like 30 minutes or so. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys. I really appreciate all the thumbs ups on the videos. Um, we're at like 180, I think 187 subs now. Like we're well on our way to hit that 200 mark by the end of the year. So I appreciate all of you my uh, multinational coalition of uh, YouTube viewers um, thank you I'll keep putting out the videos if you guys keep watching it that you know that's the deal I'll make with you I'll put out the kind of content that I know I would want to watch and the kind of content that I hope that maybe you guys want to watch and you guys watch it uh, as always, I'm always open to criticism, constructive criticism, not just shit talking in the comment section. If that's what you want to do, you can go to somebody else's video and do it there. I'm not going to tolerate it. You clap you clap at me, I will clap back. I, and I will come at you with the receipts and with the facts. As we come across the start-finish line... 240 Ugh, that was horrible but yes guys thank you for so much for watching mm, hit that sub but oh, actually hit the thumbs up hit the sub don't forget to hit the notification bell because at two o'clock in the morning I do like putting those videos live to bother you and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace